good morning from Senin, just around the corner from Land's End, where I will be heading shortly to start my Land's End to John O'Groat's journey. I'm just going to head to a post shop first to drop off my completely sogged book of maps from Sustrans, <laughs> which just got ruined in the torrential downpour that I rode through last night to get here. Apparently it was the tail end of a hurricane and it weighs about like at least a couple kgs now because <laughs> it's so water ridden. <laughs> so I'm going to send it to my friend in London to hold on to and dry out for when I get back. <laughs> Oh man, I can't even recognize this place compared to, you know, how I arrived last night in that rain. That was, that was wild. It is beautiful and a, just a perfect day to start this journey. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I also woke up to an email from Darren at Stanford Cycle Works who had asked me to text him when I got in last night and I did twice because I got a text from him wondering how I was doing and my texts just didn't go through. I think my reception here was really poor. So he woke up quite worried and wondering if he needs to file an incident report and send out search and rescue. So fortunately I got in touch and eased his worries that, oh man, I feel so awful that I kept him worrying all night and I'm so, so grateful that he took so much care. So I'm gonna go say hi to him this morning as I pass through Penzance on my way north and just give him a big, a big, big hug for helping this journey get off to a great start after a, uh, a adventurous and challenging beginning. <laughs> All right, more soon. Okay, well, Google Maps is sending me to the post office this way, <laughs> which is not so rideable. <laughs> so I'm doing a little bit of hike a bike to start my day. <laughs> oh man, let me share this view with you. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. Well, if the start of this journey is at all indicative of what's to come, this is gonna be quite the adventure. <laughs> and I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but I am gonna to try to get to John O'Groats. <laughs> day to start this journey after that crazy ride last night. Okay, now I'm excited. Lansen really knows how to do this journey. It's really cool. <laughs> There's so much signage that just reminds you that you're at the beginning or the end of a journey, depending on which way you're going. Check this out. I love it. All right, here we go. by Causeway. It's so cool. Okay, well now I'm taking a ferry. Very short one called the King Harry Ferry. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a beautiful river. A very short ferry ride. That's where we're headed just across the way. Swim it. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't look forward to that. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> at least it's down and not up though. Uh. 
well, what goes down must come up. It's such a beautiful scene. Good morning from St. Austell. Hopefully that's how you say it. I'm learning that I'm pronouncing every other word incorrectly here, especially place names. I just did not have the energy to do a video when I got in last night. I was done. The start of this journey from Land's End to John O'Groats is notorious for the hills in Cornwall. Um, they're just short but steep and they're just lots of them. So you're just constantly going up and down. Um, and I'm finding myself being super cautious on the downhills as well because I'm on these really narrow country roads and when the cars come, there's very limited limited room and you kind of both have to squeeze into the the side of the, the road, the verges to get by. So, so I'm not going as fast on the downhills that I normally would. And then, <laughs> then I have less momentum going on the uphills. <laughs> so yesterday's ride was one of my slower ones, but doing okay. It's been really a beautiful start to the journey. And I'm so lucky with the weather I had yesterday after that <laughs> torrential start at the very beginning to get to Land's End. And we'll see how we go today. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get as usual. I didn't know where I would get today. But for this part of the journey, I'm feeling pretty comfortable booking places as I go. And I think I am going to stay in inns because there's just a huge number of little B&Bs and other hostels that welcome cyclists for pretty low cost. So I'm appreciating that. And I know when I get up into Scotland, it's free camping, like you can camp anywhere and that will be a really nice thing to be able to do. So yeah, that's, that's about it this morning. More soon, I'm gonna go hit the road. 